Now all the tracks you hear have Bobby Rock, my old drummer from Nitro on Drums. I'm very good with computers. I could sequence and, and do all the MIDI stuff, but these are real dudes playing real instruments. Um, it's as close as a band that I could as, as I could possibly get doing clinics by myself. And so, so the real players, the bass player is different, the drummer is Bobby, but on this song, I got Ozzy's original bass player to play bass. This is Rudy Sarzo. In fact, the last clinic I did here at West LA, Rudy came to the, to the clinic. He was really cool, we had a good time. But he's a fantastic player. He was in Ozzy Osbourne with Randy Rhodes. He was in Quiet Riot when they had the first number one metal album, and he was with White Snake during their big uh, uh, heyday years of the 80s. And so I asked him, I said, Rudy, will you play on this track? He's like, cool. And he said, yes. So I said, cool. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play my version of Crazy Train into Mr. Crowley's solo. Now, why am I telling you this? Guitar players will understand. Randy Rhodes did a lot of tapping on both those solos. I didn't want to play it like Randy. I wanted to make it sound like Randy, but I wanted to pay respect and play it Mikey's way. So here's what I did. There's a thing in music called the melodic contour. And what that means is like if you sing the Star Spangled Banner, whether you sing it very straight, oh, oh say, or you sing it with all this bizarre notes like a Whitney Houston or somebody like, say, Janet Jackson would do, that's called melisma, a melismatic passage. But what they do is they hit the main notes. So that is the melodic contour. Anything you do in between is up to you. But those main notes of the Star Spangled Banner, as long as everybody recognizes it as the song, that is the melodic contour. So I did the same thing with Randy Rhodes. I said, he's tapping all this stuff, but I don't want to tap. I can make that same sound with arpeggios. Now why do I like to do that? Because it adds about 50,000 extra notes. Personally, I kind of like that. And so, but it sounds very similar. So here we go. This is Tribute to Randy. It is track four minus one, three, divisible by metal. Let's do it. <laughs> With Rudy on bass. Yes. <laughs> 